Hi, I'm Linda from Remade with Love, and thank you for joining me today. I love celebrating the holidays with family and friends and making a gracious and fun space for gatherings. And there's a big one coming up, Independence Day. So today, with the help of some fabulous Amy Howard products, I'm going to show you how you can make a floor mat to celebrate the 4th of July. There are a few things that you'll need to have in order to make a two foot by three foot floor mat. You'll need vinyl flooring. You can either go to a big box store or do like I did and invest in a small roll of rubber dance floor. Either one will work. You'll need Amy Howard's clean slate for cleaning your surface before you put any paint on it. You'll need synthetic brushes. I like using Amy Howard's one and a half inch nylon tapered brush. And you'll also need a high density foam roller. You'll need tape, foam, paper, or cardboard. I'll show you how to make some stars if you don't have a machine, a cutting machine that will make them for you. And of course, paint. And for this project, because it's going to go on a floor mat, which needs to have flexibility and durability, and we want the color to be there, I'm going to use Amy Howard's Miracle Paint. We'll be using red, Charm School, white, in Bauhaus Buff and blue in American Dream. Let's get started. Okay, as we get set up here, um, you'll see I've cut out a two foot by three foot piece of my vinyl flooring. Um, what's great about this dance floor is it's got a black background on one side, a white background on the other. And so often um, I can incorporate that color into my mat. Now, if you have an old vinyl mat, upcycle it. Otherwise, head on over to a big box store, have them cut off a two foot length, uh, two foot by however long the roll is of vinyl flooring. It could have a little bit of texture to it. Um, that's fine, doesn't matter what color it is, you're going to co cover it up by painting with your Miracle Paint on here. But try and stick with a low profile, um, you know, depth to the, um, if there's any kind of texture to it, stick with that because that'll really help your mat uh, while you're stenciling it or painting it. Otherwise, I love this dance uh, mat. And of course, the next step is clean with clean slate. The reason I want to clean with clean slate, even though this dance floor is, is basically a new flooring, is that you never know in the roll where it's been, um, you know, where it was kept, how it was kept, what was on it. Um, go ahead and really clean it well. You don't know, you don't want anything to come between the floor and the paint, which could possibly inhibit the paint from sticking. So you can see just by that little bit that I did here, this is brand new, but it certainly had some dirt on it. So now I'm gonna let that air dry uh, for about 10 minutes or so. And while that's happening, I'm gonna show you how, um, what the next step is. To help you create your stars, if you don't have stars already made, let's say you bought them at a store, a thrift store, is go ahead and get a, just tear off a piece of a box um, flap. And this one happens to be a great size for what I'm making. I wanna have um, three to five stars on the top here, and I didn't have any. And so what I do is, and I'll show you right here. This is 10 inches across. I folded it in half to get a five inch section across. And then from that, I'm going to make my marks where the middle is at the very top. 
a little over five inches. straightened off and squared off on the bottom where I wanted it already. So you want to have a top and bottom midway star and the same on the sides. Okay. And then you're just going to draw with your ruler a line from the bottom left corner to the top middle bottom right corner to the top and since I whoop, since I had already squared this off at the bottom that creates my top triangle and then I know I said bring it to the middle raise it up about a half an inch two other notches and then draw your line from the bottom corner to the notch there and there and then straight across and there you have a star that you can cut out and use Go. Mine is a stylized star. If you want a perfect star, um, cut one out on your printer. But this is this is the star I'll use. Okay, I've got my two foot by three foot piece of vinyl that I'll be using as my flooring, my floor mat. I've cleaned it with clean slate, so there isn't any debris on here. Um, that will get in the way and hinder the paint from sticking to the mat. I'm going to be using this um, dance floor mat that I told you about um, that I picked up for under $100 for a big roll of it. Um, if you don't have that, if you're going to, let's say, use a, um, an old vinyl mat or a, a piece of scrap vinyl or something that you get from the big box store, it may not be white. In that case, please go ahead and paint everything with Miracle Paint in Bauhaus Buff. Get that to be your nice base. Um, you'll want to lay that down first. With this, because I have a white side and a black side, I'm going to be using my white side to paint on. So now, after I've prepared it by cleaning it, my next step is to designate where I'm going to paint. I'm going to do this freehand. I have no stencil that I'm using. I thought it would be fun just to do a patriotic flag type motif. But no. So because I'm freehanding my uh, patriotic flag, take out a flag, um, I'm going to be marking this with a ruler about seven inches from the bottom. I'm going to start putting my tape on. And then, of course, I need to, I want it to be even on the other end. I've seen some really pretty flags where someone will mark, will paint a swoop in. You could do that, be creative. But I think I'm heading off in this direction. And I'll just tape it at seven inches across. I get it down nice and tight. Burnish that because I don't want anything to seep underneath. 
The bottom part I'll be marking off, but to start with, um, and I'll put stripes down here. To start with, I'm going to paint the top blue. But of course, on a patriotic flag, you're going to have stars. So I've cut stars out of craft paper. If you have stars that are pre-made, awesome. You do want to have some that are rather large, and you want to have an odd number. Usually five is the number. Um, because I've decided to go straight down with my stripes, I will go ahead and put my stars up here pretty evenly. About an inch from the top, about an inch and a half from the side, and I'll try and keep these on an even pace. And I might even do that by putting my ruler up and looking at how these are spaced. Now, I didn't mention this before, but because these aren't sticky on the bottom, I'm going to use a little bit of spray adhesive on here. So I'll be right back. And next we're going to introduce American Dream, American Dream paint. Because I don't want seepage, I'm applying American Dream Miracle Paint with a high density foam roller from the center of the star out. I'll continue to cover the entire mat or the section taped off for the stars with a single coat and then a second letting it dry in between coats for about 30 minutes to an hour. Using a foam roller will cut down on the thickness and so affect the drying time. It will dry more quickly than if using a brush. Feel free to use a nylon brush to cut in around each star and then quickly roll over the entire surface with a foam roller if you find that it helps you control your coverage. Because I'm looking for a little bit more of a provincial look, I'll be fine with any variances in color or coverage. Miracle Paint is wonderful. I've used it on indoor-outdoor furniture, a balustrade that needed some repair work and then freshening up with paint, and now on floor mats. I've made several using stencils and I really enjoyed how they turned out. This paint will self-level, um, dry to an eggshell finish, be flexible. I, I can even roll this up for storage and it won't crack and wipes up with soap and water. And just like my indoor outdoor furniture finished in miracle paint, I don't have to worry about my colors fading in the sunshine or being ruined in the rain. Okay, I've got two passes completed and each was allowed to dry at least an hour. Now I'm going to add my red and white stripes to complete my patriotic flag look. I'll just remove the last bit of tape and I'm going to go ahead and use the 3M tape again to mark where the stripes will go. Now you can take the three foot length and divide it by the tape's width and come up with how many stripes you'll have or just go ahead and eyeball it. Knowing that the American flag has red as the outside stripe and knowing that this tape's width will not allow for an exact amount, I'll mark off smaller end stripes and then eyeball the rest. Don't forget to burnish the tape as you go or before you start painting or you'll get bleed through.
but also don't worry about that either. You can clean up your lines later with a small, flat artist brush. And remember, this is just paint. If you goof up, repaint. Do it again. You can do this. Okay, almost done here. Just a few more stripes. Huh, there we go. And one more down the middle here. And then again, make sure to burnish well. And then you're going to cover that beautiful blue, you know, that line of demarcation that's going to be between the blue and the red, where the, the stripes butt up, and burnish that well. Now, this mat is ready for the final step. I'll pour my Charm School Miracle Paint into my pan. Look at that. It's looking good. So I'm going to pour my um, Charm School in, which is the red, and using again the high density foam roller, I'll simply paint between the lines that I've created here. You'll want to have the red be just as vibrant as the blue is, so give your mat two to three coats of the red, go right over the tape, no need to be careful really here. You can just paint right over the lines as long as you don't go onto the blue. And after you paint each coat, let it dry for 30 minutes to an hour. See if it's vibrant. Probably needs a second. I can see the white peeking through here on the first. And it will dry a little bit darker, but I think you'll still find that you'll need a little more coverage before it's complete. This was pretty simple to do. Almost done. go. Okay. And because this takes time for drying, I went ahead, put the second coat on super quick. Let it dry another 30 minutes after this was done. There we go. And now for the big reveal. There's something so satisfying about pulling the tape up and seeing your, your paint. So I'm very happy with the results. And you know, when I look at this, it gives me some other thoughts. Halloween is not too far away and it gets me to thinking how easy it might be to whip up a Captain America shield. What do you think? I hope that you have enjoyed today's tutorial on how to make a freehanded floor mat for the 4th of July. I would love to see what you come up with. Please post in Amy Howard's before and after group or find me on Facebook, YouTube, or Instagram at Remade with Love and post pictures of what you make.
that's all for this time. See you next time. Bye-bye.